Hey guys, this is Paul with VHSCollector.com here to bring you another VHS review and this time it is not going to be a movie for the first time I won't be reviewing a movie this is not a documentary or any other variation of that sort in fact it is an interactive VHS tape it is Max Maven's Mind Games the video that reads your mind this is from 1984 this could very well be one of the first, or is one of the first, um, interactive VHS tapes. 1984 is still kind of early in the, the video uh, VHS age. Max Maven is known for doing interactive stuff with TV audiences, so it was only a matter of time before it would end up on video cassettes. So, um, if anyone knows me, they know that I'm interested in magic. So when I came across this tape, I was extremely excited. I've only seen it online a few times, and I've seen it sell on Amazon for as much as like 50 bucks, and for as low as like six bucks. Um, so it was always fluctuating. I've seen a few people post images of this video online, and I was just excited to know more about it. And uh, while I was going through uh, Steve's video collection from his old video store, I came across this. He was letting me scan all the videotapes from his old video store, Pinealo Video, and. Uh, I showed an incredible amount of interest in it and he let me have it, so big thanks to you Steve. I really appreciate it. I think a lot of people are more interested in the movie reviews, but I think these are interesting little pieces of VHS history. Um, there's not a lot of interactive VHS tapes out there. So who is Max Maven, this devilish looking guy? Boo. Max Maven is a world-renowned magician, obviously, and mentalist. He's more than just a Las Vegas strip magician. He's actually contributed a lot to the magic world, particularly uh, mentalism. He's written a ton of articles and technical manuals and all kinds of stuff in the field of mentalism. If you're part of that industry, the magic world, you know who Max Maven is. In 1984, when he made this, he might have been at the top of his game. I'm not really sure. I'm not that familiar with him, other than what I've been... Uh, reading online, but he had a good shtick, I must say. Uh, this tape is incredibly interesting. <laughs> He's a lot of fun, and uh, throughout the whole video, he just pokes fun at the whole TV process, the whole goofiness of interacting with an audience over a television screen, and he totally mocks all the magic cliches. It's a lot of fun. Each trick that he does, or each um, interactive experience on the video, is done in like a comedic skit. One is in the jungle, one is kind of in an Italian restaurant. There's someone on the video, a character, who always asks him about his hair. Do you do it yourself or does someone else take care of it? Take care of what? Your hair. That seemed to be his trademark during the time. So if you check this up on IMDb, I think, if I remember correctly, it only has two credits on this movie. It has the director and it has Max Maven. It doesn't have the cast and crew. But in fact, uh, if you watch this and see the credits, there is in fact a cast and crew. Um, and one of the people, one of the characters in this video who interacts with them during some of the skits, her name is Dee Dee Rescher. And she played in a ton of different stuff, but she's most famous for being the bus driver in Ferris Bueller's Day Off, it appears, according to IMDb. But she was in a ton of TV shows, uh, playing some soap operas and all kinds of things. But her name or her IMDb page does not have this movie on there. The director of this also directed a ton of TV stuff, so certainly this was a TV production, but I don't think it was recorded for TV. It clocks in at about 55 minutes. If this was made for TV, it would probably be 45 minutes for commercials. But I don't remember if he references this feature as a videotape. He just mentions the TV screen. He doesn't talk about video cassette or anything. I might be wrong, I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure that this was made particularly for video cassette and not television. And I, like I've said, or I think I've said, he's done a bunch of TV stuff around this time, so certainly he was familiar with this territory. This was just a, maybe the first time it was done on home video. I remember growing up in the 90s and seeing a ton of magic specials on television where they would do mentalist stuff with the audience, like things with cards or numbers, all kinds of weird, goofy things like that. I don't really see that kind of stuff anymore on television. I think a lot of the secrets of magic have already been exposed with YouTube, so I don't think people are as interested in magic as they used to be. 
I mean, uh, David Blaine isn't nearly the superstar he used to be, or even Chris Angel. So I think magic has been kind of fading, a fading art form because of the internet age. And all those secrets are just out there. But Max Maven is still around. You can go to his website, maxmaven.com, and you could actually contact him for a... Uh, uh, for a gig. <laughs> but check out his website because there's a lot of interesting information on there about his history and some of the publications he's been involved with. He's written tons of books, like I said, and he's actually made some uh, how-to videos and DVDs. So scanning videotapes at 112 video. I found a ton of weird stuff like this. Things that aren't movies, but weird offbeat documentaries and uh, a few of these interactive type tapes. I found a videotape series from the 80s on how to beat slot machines and all these weird wacky things. And I've been thinking, like, why am I not reviewing these? These videotapes are so obscure and offbeat and probably rare. Not that anybody wants them, but they're probably hard to come by that I think some of you guys might find them quite odd or interesting. So I actually want to hopefully find some time to review a lot of that offbeat stuff at 112 video. But if anybody's on Long Island and interested in this uh, VHS cassette, 112 video has it available for rent. If you can't find it online or buy it, come by uh, 112 video in Patchogue, New York, and you could rent this really weird offbeat video. Like I said, it's an hour long, and uh, Max Maven is totally charismatic and, and just incredible. He's just a fun guy to watch. So that's my review on Max Maven's Mind Games, a VHS review after almost two years, or it's been two years according to YouTube, since I did one of those. So, And uh, I really appreciate everyone who stood by the channel. It's been a lot of fun, and hopefully I could do more of these. So, Once again, this has been Paul with VHSCollector.com. Look out for more reviews, and see you next time. We have been on a hunting expedition, and we've managed to capture a huge, ferocious, dangerous beast. Bring on the beast. Now, it's no fun hunting alone, so I'd like to invite you to participate in this expedition. Why don't you tell them what they'll need, and I'll help the Mavenettes. For this test, you will require five pieces of paper. Index cards are best, but any paper will do. You will also need a pen or pencil. All right. On your first piece of paper, write down the word lion. Place that piece of paper aside, writing side up. On the next piece of paper, print the word panther. That one goes on top of the first piece. On your third piece of paper, Put the word Jaguar. Now that's a tough one, so pay attention. Fine, put that on top of the first two. On the fourth piece of paper, put down the word Tiger. On top of the pile it goes. On the final piece of paper, write the word Duck. That goes on top of all. Pick up the packet of five pieces. Turn the entire packet writing side down. And now, if you would, cut the packet. In other words, just as if you were using playing cards, transfer as many or as few as you like from the top to the bottom of the group. Good. Deal the pieces of paper into a face-down row on the table going from your left over to your right. Gentlemen, kindly hold it down. Thank you. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, of course. You have a row of five papers face down in front of you. And as you cut the packet before you dealt them out, I don't know the location of any one of those uh, dangerous beasts. Take the paper over to the right end of the row, turn it over, and place it off to one side. Now, that is not the beast we're going after. But that exotic cat is going to lead us to our prey. 
I want you to spell the name of the cat you just placed aside by tapping your finger along the remaining row of four. Tapping from left to right, one tap for each letter of the name. Now, if you go past the right end of the row, simply go back to the left and continue tapping. You've arrived at one of the remaining beasts. That is our target. Hold up that piece of paper so that I can read it. A little higher, please. Yes, that's the one. Open the crate. Get back. Stand back. Back into the crate. Back for it. Back. Close the crate. Oh, yes. This is the very latest in television technology. Observe.